Well, this day has finally arrived, October 21st, 2015, the day Marty McFly and Back to the Future 2 travel through time. For those of you <laughs> like me who haven't seen Back to the Future, tis, Marco, tis. I appreciate tis, you writing tis. that into the uh, <laughs> script there. Marco is going to tell you all about the relevance of the movie. Indeed, the first Back <laughs> to the Future was the number one movie of 1985, grossing over $210 million in the U.S., in today's numbers, that would be over 492 million. Ooh. There are two sequels, one being Back to the Future 2, where Marty McFly and the Doc travel to October 21st, 2015, today. And of course, as with any movie that's in the future, some things were off, but some things were actually accurate. We'll break it down for you. I'll break the atrocity channel. Hydrate level four, please. Now here's something, expanding hydrating food, Sean. Ah, yeah. yes, no, yes. microwaves. I, indeed. Uh, I, uh, I checked this out. There was absolutely nothing going on, <laughs> nothing in development for this. Although our producer Clay noticed the Black & Decker, which is that just hardware? I don't think Black & Decker Black & Decker, they, they do a lot of different things. Yeah, they, uh, they okay. make a ton of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they make yeah. a lot of different things. I know, I mean, they, they do power tools mostly now, but no, they, they do a ton of stuff. That's pretty right. cool, though. All right, let's go to the next one. Well, in Back to the Future 2, Jaws 19 is seen in the background on the front of a theater plus a 3D <laughs> advertisement for the film. As most of you probably know, that is way off. There Very was no off. Jaws 19. Yes. <laughs> yes, the last Jaws to release was in 1987, Jaws the Revenge, the fourth of the series. And while 3D advertisements that reach out to you, like that one over there, what's out, Marty? Oh, they oh, aren't really oh, a thing. Oh, he's got him. No, 3D movies <laughs> have, have made a comeback in the last decade. All right, so in Back to the Future 2, flying cars are everywhere. But in reality, we know widespread flying cars aren't a thing. Yeah, we know that the closest thing I could find to being a reality is the self-driving car. Now, as far as flying cars go, the company Aeromobile has created a car plane hybrid. Earlier this year, Aerobile, Aeromobile, excuse me, 3.0, crashed during a test flight, but there is progress being made. Wait a minute. Cubs win World Series against Miami? <laughs> well, the Cubs swept Miami in the World Series in the movie. Now, there's something to the movie there might have gotten right as far as Cu the Cubs winning the series because they're in the playoffs right now. Yeah, here's something the movie nailed. Miami had no baseball team in 1989 when this movie was released. Then the Florida Marlins were formed four years after the movie came out. And then the Florida Marlins were renamed the Miami Marlins in 2011. So if the Cubs are able to get out of this hole and get to the World Series and win, both the prediction of the Miami team and the prediction about the Cubs will be prophetic indeed. Well, machi machines that fill your gas for you. I'm sure most of us probably wouldn't mind that these oh, days. Definitely. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, I would love it. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're not there. The closest we have, this isn't even technological, is New Jersey, where self-service stations have been banned for nearly 70 years. So someone else always fills your tank ah, in the Garden State. I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. That's cool. Instead of skateboards, Big Fly had to take a kid's hoverboard to speed away from some <laughs> of the bad guys. That'd be pretty cool to have these days. I mean, I'd buy one as long as it wasn't yeah. too expensive. Well, you know, Yahoo Tech reports of something called a Hendo hoverboard, which allows the rider to fly eight inches into the air. And it can only be used on a conductive surface such as copper, which means you can't rate out on the street like they're doing right now. The funny thing is the Hendo hoverboard only exists because of Back to the Future 2, as the intent was to deliver <laughs> wow. a working model by October 21st, 2015. All right, so also in the movie, the future Marty McFly answers a call via video conferencing. And I think we all know how well the movie did. Yes. Right there. It works you know even well better than the movie thought. We can video chat right on our smartphones, laptops, or tablets while on the move. Of course, the movie didn't see cell phones becoming such a big thing. No big deal there. And one more thing, uh, Marty McFly is Double ties uh, haven't quite caught on yet. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to keep with the signal tie. Yeah, the bottom cool. line is Sean needs to watch the movie. Yes, <laughs> that's what I need it's to a do. Class. You watch the movie. We'll be back in two minutes.